Hello, my furry friends. My name is Fuzzy Cup, and welcome back to Vault Hunters on the Left Over SMP episode 24. Can you believe we're at 24 already? That's amazing. Or as Seiji would say, insane. So, once again, as is tradition every intro, I have been a busy bear. Let's just uh, quickly warp over to the banana for a moment, for I have started the mechanism quintupling or system of doom or something. So basically, I just got these two things started. This is making brine. It is a thermal evaporation setup. It takes water and you put it into this tank using the power of the sun because you know, like we're, we're in the desert. It turns water into brine. But I also went one step further because I know in the future when we want to get a little bit nuclear, we're gonna need this stuff, lithium, to make the reactors. So I did get ahead of myself and I uh, got a second one done to get some lithium going, but that's for future fuzzy. I also got all this ready in the shulker box. These are basically all the machines that are needed to make all the chemicals needed to quintuple the ores. It's, it's a lot of, you know, scientific stuff, but basically you feed fuel into here, you feed fuel into there, you feed a gas here, you feed some gunpowder in there, and ba-boom! Five times ours. But um, I am a little bit low on Larimar. You see, this is a very Larimar hungry mod. Every time I want to make one of these alloys, I need basically just a ton of uh, Larimar. And it gets even worse the higher you go up. So um, I went over to my basement area over at spawn, and I took all the ores out of the ore basement, mainly because Rob was trying to sell them. I'm watching you, Rob. I'm watching you. And uh, this is where the story comes in now. I um, I was going to go outside and place my ores from these shulker boxes when I saw another bear has arrived. So either someone else is trolling me or Seiji has gotten a lot better at building bears. Now I haven't read it yet. I wanted to read it on camera. Oh God, it, it's, it just stares into your soul. Anyway, dearest Fuzzy, it's me again, this time with another friend. It has been brought to my attention that there is a war between nations. Wait, what? I didn't hear anything about a war. I do like war though. North versus South. I have tried my hardest to stay here in the North, but alas, I can't keep putting on this facade. Oh, facado? I have lived a double life for way too long. You have been an amazing neighbor. Where's the you? Americans, why don't you put yous in? But you are now an enemy. Not really, you're still the best. Well, yeah, I know that. That being said, I am calling upon you as a master builder you are with a tough and challenging build. You have been chosen, handpicked if you will, but me to build. But me to build an insane hobbit hole? Maybe it's like from me? By me? You have a total creative freedom to do what you must. My only suggestion is that you build it in a specific location. You must follow directions to find location. Through space, I've swiftly flown to a bear statue made of stone. Not ahead, but now behind. Solve the puzzle, see what you find. You must decipher this riddle in order to find the location in which the build must be done. Yes, if you don't want to solve the riddle, click to page 10 and I'll tell you how to get to the hobbit hole. Okay. Through space, I've swiftly flown to a bear statue made of stone, not a head, but now behind. Solve the puzzle, see what you find. Okay. Uh, well, it's obviously in the south. Hmm, I'm gonna have to do a little bit of a thinking, I think. -ing. So I wonder if it means it's behind the bear, but the behind the bear is to the west. Does it mean the bear's behind? Oh. <laughs> he pooped out a warp plate. Okay, Seiji, I'm trusting you not to send me into a terrible vault or something. Oh, that's handy. The waystone. So let's see on the map, where are we? Oh, we're quite south. Okay, okay, I see. I see what we have here. Oh, this is a beautiful little valley. I'm gonna have to free cam this. Oh, this is quite a nice area. Nice little cliff face going on. A lot of potential to build a lot of little hobbit holes. I would dare to say this place is actually much better than where he chose first. So, um, I'm guessing we are going to have to build a hobbit hole eventually. But, uh, back, back to me. Because, you know, it's my episode. 
So I am going to fortune up all of the ores that are over in my base. And while I do that, I think you guys should have a look at the vaults that I've been doing with Sturcat. We got um, a little bit catalyst crazy. So what exactly is the crystal we're doing again? It's there. Two coves, eight wealthy, five random negatives. Okay. I've been wild, 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 wild. <laughs> oh, yeah. Just go into the room, storm arrow. Yeah. You see us back. Let's go. Oh, I just saw Furious there a second ago. One wild. One wild. And only one shortened. One shortened. I mean, 15 minutes is more than enough time to clear a cove. Yeah. Okay, it is. I'll go to the furthest one. Oh, look at this. <laughs> I can go shopping. <laughs> what? Look at you're addicted. Ah! Oh, I forgot about the wild. <laughs> Holy. Oh my, that's look scary. at the amount of jewels here. Or not jewels, coins. Jewels? I have my treasure goggles on as well, and it's just the whole room is lighting up that <laughs> kind of weird color that it does. Hey, stop bullying me while I need coins for my addiction. Yeah. You know? Do not get in between Sturcat and shopping. Really, like, it, it's not, not good for you guys. Wow, so much coins. One would say too much coins. Nah. No, no, no. <laughs> The perfect amount of coins. Oh, look at all the clothes. This is much easier than the uh, dragon room. <laughs> you don't see any more sparkles. See if you can see it in the previous room. Yeah. Yeah, sparkles. Because we still have seven minutes. So I have to be silly not to. Oh, you left a lot, Circuit. What? I think that's it. blind now. <laughs> yeah, now I can shop. Yay, shopping! Give me an idea for a good episode, Sturgat. Why don't we just oh. use up all of the catalysts we have and just run augmented weird vaults? <laughs> okay, so we have three unknown negatives and a wild. <laughs> How much time was on that, actually? I never even checked. For, for nearly 15 minutes, and then with four minutes extra, it's going to be nearly 19 minutes. <laughs> Even yeah, with, like, three shortened. Three so shortened. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, trap yeah. for me is fine. I have 125% trap disarm, so... Not about the rest of you, but... Yeah. Um, oh, I had to turn my I mic fell. on. <laughs> oh, my. So a lot of our needs. Just, just a few. Just what are you talking call. about? Mm. The whole screen just has red particles everywhere. Stupid looms. I bet you Iska put them there on purpose for people who use the water bucket. <laughs> <laughs> they're in the windows and everything. Oh, they're in the stairwells because of the um, the thing, the, the extra bonus gilded. Or bonus uh, ornate. Hello. Traps. Oh god, everyone has her feet! <laughs> Wait. Are you okay, Sir Cat? Yes. Are you sure? Yes, yes, yes. They're dead. Someone's in the castle with me. I heard a boing. At least I hope someone's in the castle with me. <laughs> no, Starcat and I are in the same one. Yeah. Okay. So it's not. I suggest. Um. <laughs> I'm scared. Oh, that was satisfying. I think that might be everything in this room. Yeah, that was the easiest Omega room ever. Okay. <laughs> now. Uh, uh, nailed it! First time! 12,000 XP. But the most important question is... Oh, not actually that much. And no trinkets. I'm disappointed. They get a lot of carbon though, which is nice. And welcome back. I hope you guys enjoyed that. That was actually a lot of fun running those uh, nice, calm and quiet vaults with the guys. And we have fortuned up all of our Larimar and Benny Boys and all the other jewels that we'll need. So, uh, why don't we unlock a new mod? So, over the last few days, I have actually unlocked quite a few mods off camera. So, I unlocked trash cans. I unlocked mechanism generators. I unlocked weirding gadgets. I unlocked applied energistic so I could open Vert's system and steal from him. <laughs> I unlocked soul harvester. Seriously, 
best thing ever. So using compacting drawers, I compact down all of my stuff and using this brand new Vault Soul Harvester. This is so quick. All done. That would have taken me about 25 to 30 minutes waiting on the other soul diffuser just to do its job. Best unlock ever. Well, kind of. The next thing that we're gonna do is actually quite a good unlock. We are going to unlock Flux Networks. So let's grab 14 knowledge stars. Nom 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 nom. And unlock Flux Networks. Do we get a transmog for this? No, we do. Nice. I, I don't know what it looks like. I'll check later. So, the basis of Flux Networks is uh, the Flux Dust, which uh, is expensive, but uh, we don't have any redstone. Oh, we, we have a lot of redstone. Boop. Uh, boop. There we go. Stacking a bit. That should be enough. And we need to make a few of these guys. Let's say have a stack. Let's grab a Flux Controller. One, two, three, four, five, six. Like so. We need a flux plug. Boop. A flux point. A boop. And then we just need to connect this to a power supply. Let's pop over to the banana for now. So the way this guy works is you use this flux plug on a power supply. First of all, you create a public network in the brown color. Oh, it looks like Vert has it as well. Select that network, power search on. I can pop this down anywhere, basically. This is a, a worldwide thing. Pop that down here, pop it onto my network. Uh, that guy is filling up with power. Oh, and the other thing I can actually go to, on, which is really, really handy on this, is wireless charging. I can select all my armor slots, all my curios, my hotbar, my offhand, and my main hand, and I can enable wireless. And that should keep this guy always fully charged also. Nice. Okay, so the reason I unlocked it is because with this flux point, I can put the flux point anywhere and connect some cables to it, and I can use that as a point of power. Meaning that I don't have to have a lot of spaghetti everywhere, I can use this power way over there. It's just gonna make this spaghetti a little bit easier to deal with. So I'm gonna get all this set up and uh, the next time you see this area, we're gonna have ore and toppling. One eternity later. Six hours. It took six hours to do this. Now, granted, I refuse to look up any tutorials and um, may have driven myself insane. Also, Seiji had to come over and literally the easiest fix ever. I just forgot one of the things to be automatically outputted, but we won't talk about that anymore. But it looks like we are all done. I have moved the generators down here. They're actually not that great. They, they provide very, very, very little to the system, but I have plugged them into the main overall uh, power network. So that's good. But I suppose we should test this out. Now I haven't actually tested it out. I wanted to do it on camera with you guys because I have a feeling I've done at least one thing wrong, but I'm hoping against all hope that if I put one single ore in that first machine, that it turns into five ores in the last machine. Now nothing is sped up. There's no factories there yet. They're all single machines. So it's gonna be basically one thing at a time, but uh, fingers, toes, everything crossed. Now let's see, what ore shall we do? Let's do nickel, because we uh, unlocked thermal the other day with code, and nickel is heavily used in thermal, and I kind of want to get into it, because I miss tinkering around this stuff. Do not get me wrong, I really love doing the vaults, but I do love this technical stuff as well. Maybe I'll do a single player mod pack when uh, Vault Hunters calms down a little bit, and we'll, we'll explore some more tinkery mods together. Let's pop one nickel in here. Seriously, the one ore that I pick and it doesn't actually get pentupled. Fine, let's do an iron. So let's put our iron in here. It gets processed into dirty iron slurry, I think it's called. Yep, dirty iron slurry gets processed into clean iron slurry. The clean iron slurry goes into the crystallizer and gets turned into, I think it's iron chunks or iron shards. Not quite sure. I can't remember at the moment. It, it's been a long day. 
Ah, crystals. Iron crystals, of course. And the iron crystals get turned into iron shards. The iron shards get purified into iron clumps. The iron clumps get crushed into dirty iron dust. The dirty iron dust gets enriched into clean iron dust. And the iron dust gets smelted into an iron ingot, which then gets put into the chest. Ooh, okay, yeah, I, I know it's a lot. I know it's a lot. I really do feel your pain. All the way down this line to here, where we should, should have five ingots. It works. Oh my god, it works. I so expected that not to go right. I'm so happy. Of course, this is pentupling of ore. But if you use a fortune pickaxe and you have this fortunate expertise, you can turn one ore into up to nine, I think. So that means one single ore block could actually get you 45 ingots. So yeah, it looks like we're never gonna be low on any ingots again, <laughs> unless it's nickel, stupid nickel. And I know this episode is a little bit shorter than my normal episodes, but this actually took a few days to put together. And I think if I do any more in this episode, I'm probably going to go even more insane than usual. So this is the end of the episode. And if you like this episode, please click the like button, subscribe and leave a comment. Tell me what do you think we should build around this thing? I'm going kind of in the, you know, nuclear power plant type thing. But if you guys have any good ideas about what to build around this, make it look pretty, let me know in the comments. And while you're down there in the comments, why don't you click on the join button and join the fuzzy family membership. This gives you bonus perks such as being able to use the emotes on live streams and a shout out at the end of every video. Just like these wonderful people right here. Until next time, bye bye!